How many of you have used a smartphone, a computer, or even a modern washing machine today? The common thread among all these devices is a tiny but powerful invention called the microchip. You see, chips are the unsung heroes of our daily lives. From our phones to our cars, even to our home appliances, these silicon wonders are everywhere. However, creating these chips isn't as simple as piecing together a puzzle. It's a highly complex process involving intricate technology known as lithography machines. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Czech YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. Now, let's begin. Now, the finer the chips, the more sophisticated this process becomes. Sounds complicated, right? Well, let's dive in together and unravel this enigma. China, a global technological giant, has proved its mettle in chip design capabilities with companies like Huawei's High Silicon. But the manufacturing of these chips is another story. They've had to rely on other countries, mainly because of a crucial part of the puzzle, the lithography machine. Can anyone here tell me where the world's leading lithography machines are manufactured? Yes, that's right, the Netherlands, where ASML resides. However, under restrictions imposed by the United States, SML is not allowed to provide these crucial machines to China. This has resulted in a significant roadblock in China's chip manufacturing capabilities. It's like having the best chef in the world but no kitchen to cook in. But wait, there's a twist in the tale. Reports claim that China has developed chip manufacturing technology that doesn't even require the conventional lithography machine. So the question that looms large is this. Is claim really true? Why has the lithography machine been such a shortcoming for China? And how is China responding to this challenge? Moreover, what's this new chip manufacturing technology all about? These questions are at the heart of our exploration today. An ASML executive once quipped that even if you give Chinese engineers the drawings, they couldn't build a UV lithography machine. Though it might sound like a joke, it's not. The complexities and intricacies of building a lithography machine are massive. This is where the plot thickens. The lithography machine isn't just a costly piece of the semiconductor manufacturing puzzle. It accounts for about 25 to 30 percent of the entire cost. Not only does it rely on core technologies, but it also demands a strong supply chain. Do you see now why ASML executives would say such a thing? However, resting on the laurels of ASML's technology is not the path to becoming an industry giant. Here's a fascinating story to illustrate this point. During the technological transition from 193 nanometers to 157 nanometers process, ASML faced a cross research. The common path was to further develop existing technology. Nikon and Canon, the industry giants at that time, chose to tread this well-trodden path. But ASML dared to innovate. While others considered the new technology known as immersion as too difficult and costly, ASML embraced it and succeeded. So what does this tell us? Innovation, courage, and seizing opportunities are the building blocks of success. Can China replicate this success? The short answer is no, but not for a lack of trying. Success doesn't come in a one-size-fits-all package. In today's rapidly changing technological landscape, adaptation and innovation are key. But the story doesn't end here. In the wake of Huawei's suppression, countries around the world, including European nations, Japan, South Korea, and Russia, are exploring independent research and development of lithography machines. Manufacturers like Kyoxia and Canon are taking steps to break the monopoly of ASML and have introduced the NEIL process. This process could revolutionize the production of 5 nanometer chips without needing a SML's UV lithography machine. So, is the future of chip manufacturing in China as bleak as it appears? Or are we on the cusp of a breakthrough that could redefine the way we look at semiconductor technology? Now let's take a closer look at this new technology that has the potential to transform chip manufacturing. What is NEIL technology? 
and how can it achieve production of 5 nanometer chips without the traditional UV lithography machine? Neil, or nanoimprint lithography, is like an artist using a stamp to create a masterpiece. The technology bypasses the need for the conventional UV lithography machine, promising not just innovation but also significant cost reduction, up to 90 less than the production cost of traditional methods. This, my friends, is not merely a ripple in the pond but a seismic shift that could reshape the entire industry. Think about it for a moment. A technology that enables the production of high-end chips at a fraction of the cost. So what does this mean for ASML, the current leader in lithography machines? It's a double-edged sword. While their monopoly could be at risk, it also presents an opportunity for rejuvenation and growth through competition. Innovation never sleeps, does it? But what about China? Is the nation merely a spectator in this rapidly changing landscape? Not at all. China's vigorous efforts in developing lithography machines have borne fruit. The nation is no longer only a consumer, but is transforming into a creator, innovator, and most importantly, a contributor to the global technology landscape. Wang Chuan Fu, T.O. of Bide, famously said, chips are man-made, not gods. It's a profound statement that encapsulates the spirit of innovation and the belief that challenges can be overcome through human ingenuity. Now, allow me to share something extraordinary with you. China has reached a new milestone in chip manufacturing technology with the research and development of mid-range lithography machines. Large-scale production is on the horizon, and this speaks volumes about China's mastery of key technologies. But that's not all. The research on UV high-end lithography machines is also underway. The first domestic high-energy synchrotron radiation light source equipment, researched by the Chinese Academy of Sciences, has been installed. This equipment can realize the engraving of high-end process chips. Imagine the possibilities. Further, China's Chip Union Technology announced a 3 4 square DRAM architecture technology another chip manufacturing process that bypasses the need for UV lithography machine, a move that not only offers cost-saving benefits, but also sidesteps international restrictions. So where does this leave us? What do these advancements mean for the future of chip technology in China? It's a signal, a very important signal, that China's chip technology is reaching a new frontier. If this technology matures, China's chip production will no longer be restrained by conventional lithography machines. I'll leave you with this thought. In China's history, we've seen the creation of two bombs and one satellite, the development of shield tunneling machines, subsea immersed tube technology, beta satellites, 5GAG, and more. The nation has grown from nothing, caught up, and now stands at the forefront of some technological areas. So what's next? As we've seen, the greater the pressure, the greater the motivation. China's traditional resilience could very well lead to a technological revolution in the global chip industry. Ladies and gentlemen, we are witnessing a critical moment in technological history, an era of rapid change, innovation, competition, and endless possibilities. As we look to the future, one thing is certain, the chip industry is not only about silicon and machines, it's about human innovation, courage, and the relentless pursuit of excellence. I want to thank you for joining me on this exciting exploration. Before we conclude, I invite you to share your thoughts, questions, and insights during our discussion session. Together, we are not just observers, but active participants in this dynamic and ever-changing technological world. Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content. So please keep supporting us.